Good morning. Are we really doing this? I think I may have gone slightly insane. Welcome to Vlogmas day one. She whispers so that hopefully no one holds her accountable for missing some days. Welcome to Vlogmas day one. If you couldn't already tell, I am borderline slightly, ever so slightly terrified. Um, I actually haven't done Vlogmas since 2019. So before we were locked down, that was my last Vlogmas. And I really loved that year. I actually loved that year. But over the past couple of years, I just, I find Christmas a very difficult time of year in general, but I've been really struggling, especially with the lockdowns and everything. And Vlogmas was just not, not on the cards for me, but we're gonna give it a go this year. I think I might be slightly insane because this is the first year as well that I am doing Vlogmas completely solo, like editing myself since probably 2004. 15, 2000, maybe 2000, maybe 2016. Yeah, so with that in mind, let me tell you how that is gonna work. Um, I am not gonna upload daily, which has never, ever, ever been a thing for me. I don't think with any vlogging month, because I used to work full-time before I started doing YouTube full-time. For those of you that don't know, I worked in the events industry, so I was in the office every single day, 9.30 to six, was it 6.30? nine till six i think it was nine till six so doing a video every day was never ever on the cards for me so it was quite nice when i started doing this full time i like eased into it and that's the way i've always kind of kept it i'm going to aim for that this year so like 12 videos in the run up to christmas however they may show up on different days so look out for videos from me roughly sunday through till thursday i know so many of us myself included normally have plans friday saturday so actually if i'm going to miss a day those are probably the most likely the most likely the most likely days to be missed and the least likely days to get an upload but there also might be a day on day off kind of situation to allow editing time for me so just kind of like bear that in mind i will let you know each day each morning on my instagram stories if there is a video coming up that evening just so you know but today will probably be i think today as you watch this it will be a friday this will probably be the only friday upload that you see and that's because i really wanted to upload a kind of 2nd of December video as is per tradition kind of. I know we've thrown vlogmas traditions out the window on YouTube um, over the years so everyone does things kind of differently but yeah I also really wanted to kick off with my Christmas and New Year outfits video as per tradition on my channel now. Um, I think I've done this like a few years in a row and I absolutely love filming that every year. Although every year I think every outfit bangs and then I edit it and I'm like I don't love that. So just know if you ever watch something, you're like, she loves all of these, but I don't, that didn't, that missed the mark. Just know I'm also probably thinking the same thing. But sometimes things look better in real life. And then you look at them on camera and you're like, that does not work. But yeah, the majority of outfits I loved. Oh my God, the gold jumpsuit. Oh, that is on my list for this week to get that altered. I am so, so excited for that. But anyway, that's roughly how it's gonna work. We're also gonna do a little bit of makeup this morning. Get ready for a morning makeup chat every single day. Um, no, not every day. I like to keep you on your toes, you know? Did I have anything else I needed to update you on Ari Vlogmas? Just don't hold me to anything because this time of year is quite a tricky one. Uh, I find it quite, I find that there's a lot of pressure around this time of year. There's lots of different groups of people to keep happy and just lots of stuff going on. And I generally find it quite difficult uh, in terms of managing expectations. And then we put Vlogmas on top of it. I really hope you enjoy these videos. I really, really hope you enjoy them. Otherwise I'm just, I'm putting Vlogmas in the bin. Genuinely, I hope you enjoy it because otherwise I would be very sad. This morning we, well, we were meant to be going for brunch, but it's now like, a lunch which is actually amazing because it means that we get a little bit more time together so not entirely sad about that i did think it was going to be a bit of a rush but we're going to do some makeup this morning i have been desperately trying to figure out what my makeup routine was earlier on this year because i was looking back at photos and videos and i was like wow i love this makeup look what is this and trying to figure it out because when i look back through vlogs i'm like wow the makeup looks so good I can't quite figure out what it is, but I've dug out the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in hopes that that might be a step in the right direction. I also have got my Rare Beauty Blush, which is something that I used a lot at the start of the year. Um, 
what else have we got so we'll see how we go with that this morning just starting off with some corrector and i use my foundation to kind of blend that in the only thing with the charlotte tilbury foundation is i did wear it when i would fake tan my face like every single day um so i'm not sure if this shade is going to be the one but let's find out together shall we oh no this is fine this is fine great so we are going for brunch, lunch, lunch this afternoon uh, with Ryan's brother and his partner, which I am so looking forward to. Love spending time with them. Um, I think we're going to the Breakfast Club in Brighton, which I haven't been to in literally years. I hope they do a vegan pancake. I'm kind of in the mood for pancakes. And then we have got a Christmas tree to put up i don't i honestly i do feel like it's a little bit early i actually love putting the tree up closer to christmas um i didn't used to when i first moved out i was like the earlier the better because growing up my dad would never let us have it up um until closer to christmas but i kind of get why now like there's something really festive about being like off for christmas and then putting your tree up like it's just way more relaxing i don't know i don't know Maybe that's really silly, but I don't know why I'm talking about that because it's not happening. Our tree is going up, I think, this evening. We're going to get some wine, have a nice little wintry dinner and uh, try and feel festive um, because I need to get the tree up to shoot. I actually think we might end up decorating the tree twice this Christmas because I had a completely different plan for my tree decor and I have commissioned it but it is not ready uh, until the 30th of November but I need the tree up and decorated by the 29th so I think we might have a double wood decorating situation and pre-warning some of you are gonna hate uh, the second tree decor situation but that's fine I just wanted to do something a little bit different this year but the first half of vlogmas will just be my very classic traditional Christmas tree as per usual. Just lining my lips a little bit because foundation lips are one of my least favorite things for me to see when I'm editing a video back. <laughs> I don't do this for you guys, I do this for me and my sanity. One thing I would love to know is who are you guys really excited to watch in terms of Vlogmas? Like who do I need to watch? Who are your faves? I definitely think some of my favorites are probably very guessable. So I'm super excited for Victoria and Josie's vlogmases as always we all know they'll definitely be doing it so yeah I'm really looking forward to their vlogmas but I also am really hoping that Toby from Toby's home I'm really hoping he does vlogmas because I'm just a little bit obsessed his videos are just like so cozy and cute so i really hope he does it my fingers are crossed um but yeah i think those would be my like top three to watch if they do do vlogmas actually don't know is vic doing vlogmas surely there's no surely she is yeah and if we get an alana vlogmas i will be over the moon oh and amelia so let's do a top five that's my top five yeah let me know who your top five because i couldn't keep it at three let me know who your top five vlogmases are in the comments i want to know is there anyone that i need to watch <laughs> i look like a clown well anyone else literally just constantly losing things or is that just me in addition to the vlogmases that you are most looking forward to i would love to know what you would like to see from me if anything this vlogmas and literally be anything if you have any questions pop them in the comments so that i can just like answer them throughout vlogmas um, but yeah if there's anything you want to know let me know if there's anything you want to see just pop it in the comments okay we are going in with the nars air matte lip color in the shade what shade are you all yours it's like the lightest like peachiest pink i just absolutely love this because it really like lightens any lip color that you've got on underneath and kind of makes your lips look a bit fuller i find any darker lip color kind of washes me out so i like to just lift the color ever so slightly then i'm just gonna add a tiny bit more of a darker liner for definition this is one from tom ford called extort just add a slightly darker cool toned liner to the edges i find i always need a cooler toned lip liner especially if i've got like quite a warm peachy lip color on and then finally bare minerals bare pro powder foundation just to set everything and just 
really perfect the skin and shake these curls out i don't know why i bothered doing this because it's raining so badly outside okay what are we wearing today i really want to wear my lily silk jumper but is it possible to wear something too much maybe but i do really want to wear it it's so snuggly it's just so hard to decide what to wear on a rainy day do i wear a blazer the gray one is quite nice for a gray day it matches the vibes I'm not sure but ultimately i just know that i want to be snuggly and warm so that is the vibe for today so maybe we go for a cozy jumper oh we're not doing the chat now are we the chat yeah. we're having the chat with them maybe that's a good title <laughs> we need to talk well, you've done a few of that <laughs> yeah sorry i didn't really do this very well but otherwise my chin is like just about in shot if i get your whole stand back okay we're ready for brunch just about i actually i haven't packed my bag so it's not going well yeah i'm looking forward to brunch did you see we're going to a breakfast club yeah I thought you were pointing over there. No, just feeling the plans are really nice. We just don't know what the vegan option's gonna be. If it's just oh, another right, vegan yeah, breakfast, I'd be so sad. Falafel. Oh, so. Mm. Falafel and like a vegan breakfast is like the saddest two things you see on a menu when they're all you can have. It's not my deal, is it? No. Yeah, so I'm almost ready. I need to sort myself out a little bit. So we've got a little update for you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Just because there were a few comments, I feel like people haven't seen the last life update video. Uh, but Ryan has officially moved in. We're gonna put some music in there. Like kids cheering. <laughs> My favorite. So you've moved in. It's been about a month. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, good. <laughs> it feels weird to be talking about it because it feels like it's been ages. Yeah, it? well it has been ages, but. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Obviously in the studio now, which is nice got a good place got to work i basically never commute. see him yeah living living with a man has been uh, interesting do you not think like going back to like fully living with someone is like a slight adjustment i have to be a bit more aware about like leaving coats on the chairs and stuff because i obviously <laughs> don't do that that often do i <laughs> You can have a little bit more of an upshot now. Ah, oh, it's fine. Screw it. I think the first week was really interesting as well because Ryan had work and had loads of sessions and I was like off work in full slob mode for the first week. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like because obviously we've been, for ages we've been between my house and your house anyway. But so we were like both responsible for just like cleaning yeah, true. our own houses and just when we wanted to clean. Whereas now it's like, okay, do you have like people in tomorrow? Do I need to like... I guess make sure my crap isn't everywhere yeah, but I've always like say if I had a session at my house I would always have like the pre-guest clean at my house anyway yeah true. so I'm sort of used to just doing but I don't have to do the pre-guest clean I just do a whatever room I'm filming in today <clears throat> yeah clean and yeah it's, it's been interesting in terms of like logistically working that out there's also so much washing guys so much washing I drew the short straw in terms of doing the washing but I haven't had to do the recycling in weeks. I like that this is all I'm talking about in the like update of living together. Just have cleaning duties. <laughs> it doesn't feel like anything has really changed other than that anyway, because we would spend a lot yeah. of time, like all of our time together anyway. So he's moved in. What's next? Oh, <laughs> That's a deep one. What is next? Who knows? See where the journey takes us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing the we're doing the loft conversion next. Yeah. That is what's next. And I'm very excited for that. Maybe I'll, I'll show you around the uh, upstairs. Yeah, so love conversion next. I'm excited. I really want there to be a room for my shoes. Um, and I may have to just burn the wardrobe room down now because there's that spider in there. Is it still in there though? Well, I don't know. See, this is the thing. So if you've watched the last vlog, the last vlog, not the last video. I'll link it if you haven't seen it. Um, but don't necessarily watch it at about like 36 minutes if you don't like spiders because I take my clothes out of the wardrobe and this giant spider crawls up them because there's no back on that wardrobe. So things can get in through the window and then round and through the back. So yeah. I'm just glad I never have to go in there really. Yeah, there it does, it does get a lot of spiders. I just don't go in there as much. So they do find a nice little home in there, but that inside the wardrobe I draw the line out. So I may just need to burn the whole room down now. But um, basically to come back to my point, it might not be in there because there was one that came at me. We had a little scuffle. Um, 
<laughs> and I won, obviously. I think that was the one because it looked kind of similar. It was quite like a chunky boy. Uh, so... <laughs> That's the great thing about Ryan. being with you, actually. You get rid of all the spiders. Yeah. Ryan Num never has to go up against the spider ever again. Most of the time, I get them, trap them, and let them free outside and have a little chat with them as I'm like letting them out into the world. Um, but yeah, this one, that, this one came running at me, and I, I was, I was not okay about it because the room was like a mess, and I didn't want it getting lost in my clothes again. But anyway. To come back to my point, that could have been the spider, but I don't remember whether it was the same chunk of clothes. Do we need to go? Yeah. Cool, we need to go. So basically, I may have got the spider, it may all be fine, or I may need to burn that room to the ground. So basically, a really good thing that we're doing the loft conversion. Anyway, we're going to brunch now. Why? Why? <laughs> Logmas <laughs> 1 is just going to be an absolute mess. Quick little OOTD at the risk of everyone getting pissed off at me because they're waiting. Um, I'm wearing my All Saints wall coat and then an and other stories like mohair green jumper, which is just gorgeous, but I do keep getting the little hairs on my face and in my eye, which is annoying. My Chanel 22. Sorry, my washing is like there. It's just it's chaotic today. Bear with me. Things will get better. Adenola leggings, Fendi boots, Victoria Edge of Ember little necklace and I'm not wearing any earrings and that's not going to change now because I don't have the time. Okay, the tree is up. You've got a Christmas hat on. Someone's missing something though. Where's your Christmas memorabilia? Where's your Christmas hat, Shrimpy? Where is it? <laughs> she actually loves a jumper. It's like the best <laughs> thing about her. Everyone's like, oh, does she not like get annoyed by it? I'm like, no. <laughs> you take it off and she puts her head back in it. I'm so cold. <laughs> oh, chilly, don't like. Ah, oh, gorgeous, stunning. This is an old little H&M number and I I'm obsessed with it. It's like so cute. Have you yeah. showed everyone your special blanket? You can go on your new blanket and pose in your, in your jumper. There you go. <laughs> you spoiled girl. So yeah. Now it is time to drink wine and decorate. And spend about a million years messing around with the branches on these things because they drive me mad. Chef Hurley, what have we got going on tonight? We've got tomatoes roasting, Ooh. vinegar. Wow. Low and slow for about four Low and slow, we love it. Making and then what's, what's that? These are stuffing balls that have just gone in. Delish. So what are you making with the roasted tomatoes? Tomato soup. Tomato soup. <gasps> Amazing. Delish. Don't know what the word is for them. Mm. Onions and garlic. Caramelised, is that the word? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. We've got a little bit of leftover. This MS bread, by the way, this MS focaccia is incredible. Would highly recommend, although I don't want to recommend because I'm scared I won't be able to get it. But you guys, you need to you need to head straight down to MS. It's so good. Is that that's our dinner tonight? Because we we were gonna do roast potatoes, but then we ate too much. Yeah, we had a big brunch. So. Oops. So yeah, that's what we've got going on. We've also got a dog in a jumper. Look at you, you look so cute. You look so cute. Little shrimp in a jumper. Just waiting for her dinner. It's not time yet. Not yet, sorry. You're a bit early, she's a bit confused by the fact that it gets dark at like three o'clock. Oh, baby. We just got an also. 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 
most importantly. The suspense is killing me. Oh my god. <gasps> Delish. We have some ice but cream as well. It's that time. I did get an apple pie. You got an apple yeah, pie? Yeah, I did get an apple pie. Oh, it was meant to be a surprise. Is that in the freezer? It's in the freezer. No. What would you prefer? Should we see how we feel after? Mm. Yeah. Yes, we've got love actually on the go in here. The Christmas tree is all done. I'll try and link various bits where I can, but basically just go onto the white company and you'll see the majority of these things. And then all of the other bits are just really old or from garden centers and I can't link them. Like pretty sure this little dude and all of the weird animals are from garden centers and I love them. This one is just so special. We've also got some little Nala lookalikes on the tree, which we love. Yeah, very happy with it. I have to say this tree was one of the best purchases I've ever made. The tree literally goes up in like two seconds because all of the lights are built into it and you just attach the wires here and here and it supposedly goes on. We had to adjust one of the wires slightly because um, we hadn't fully twiddled it all together but we got there in the end and I'm very happy with it. It's just so quick and easy to do now. Then we've got the fluffy stockings as always i have to say i cannot wait for the day there's an actual fireplace here sadly i think i'll be waiting a long time because that's going to be quite a big bit of cosmetic work that i cannot afford right now but one day we'll have a fireplace and these will hang off of it and that will be so cute and so festive i have to say my favorite thing that i have ever got for my christmas tree are these uh like sparkly candy canes they literally make my soul so happy every time I get all the Christmas decks out. So yeah, they definitely made me feel very festive this evening. But anyway, that is our brief intermission from Love Actually over and we are gonna get back to watching, aren't we? Yeah. Look at her, she just loves to snuggle up. She's literally on two blankets and wearing a jumper. <laughs> reminding me that we need to do our annual gingerbread bake because there is no gingerbread on the side of my morning coffee cup in yeah, my Christmas cup my favorite Christmas cup by the way this is so cute I'll try and find it and link it if I can but yeah I'm missing a little lump of gingerbread right here which is like perfect for dipping so we have just been putting the Christmas tree boxes and all of the decks back in the loft this morning and I thought I would quickly show you what we are working with and what will be a new part of our home in the new year uh, it doesn't really look all that great right now in fact it looks very creepy but this area over here I'll show you properly in a second this is gonna be my dressing room so this is our little hatch which some of you might see um in certain videos you can see a little hatch in our hallway this is not going to be here this isn't where the staircase will be our hallway isn't big enough the staircase is actually going to be no wait is it here no it's here right here this is going to move unfortunately that's a very expensive part of the renovation sadly this will be our loft area over here this will be a little like ensuite little powder room bathroom type situation and this area across the back is going to be my wardrobe room there'll be like a what do you call it not a vaulted roof a gable roof so it goes in a little triangle and then there's going to be dormers across here and also across here so this will all be part of the dressing room and then you'll be able to see out there which would be lovely and then it will end i think around here and this will be a bedroom as well and where i'm standing now will be our hallway so not really much to show but i thought i'd give you an idea of 
what we're working with. As you can see, we've got a really good amount of height. I try not to look up because I see cobwebs and it freaks me out. But we've got a really good amount of height. Um, it's not like one of those lofts that you can't stand up in. It's actually very, very big. And that was one of the main concerns when we were looking into doing this was we didn't think the roof was going to be high enough but every single like tradesman and architect that was in this is like no you're good you're more than good so um yeah we're really really happy with that i cannot wait that is going to be one of my jobs for the next couple of weeks is to finalize everything um and i need to like decide where i want all of my sockets and everything to go which i'm really excited about like standing up here and just looking at this weird little space in front of me makes me so excited which is so bizarre but i guess it's just seeing the space that you're actually working with in, as well as like i actually dream about this part of the reno um sorry my hands are really shaky i just did a workout but um yeah actually looking at the space i've got to work with it really helps me like visualize it even more and i get so excited so yeah that's what we are going to be working with i am um, honestly let's get this reno done the garage conversion was like fun but not as fun for me as obviously it is for ryan but this is like fun for me i'm so excited so yeah that is going to be a big uh thing on my to-do list this month in addition to vlogmas and we've also just decided that we're hosting christmas so yeah i, I you know i love a full to-do list yeah let's uh, get out of here because it's uh, slightly creepy and very cold oh my god my morning has been made Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, how fun! Look at what Lola's cupcakes have sent me. They have um, just set up a stall in Brighton, which I know about very well, because I've already been there, and uh, it's probably the worst thing for my health ever, but I do not care. They do vegan ones, and they do non-vegan ones there. I believe these are vegan, so I will be tucking in. I'm so excited. Oh my God, Lola's cupcakes are my favorites. Every year, Ryan says to me, what do you want for your birthday? And all I ask for now is a Lola's cupcakes birthday cake. Red velvet, vegan. Oh, it is the absolute best. I love it. Thank you so much to Lola's cupcakes for the cupcakes. I might have to like deliver these to some of my friends so that I don't eat all of them. I mean, look, oh, I really want to try this one. They didn't have that when I went down there the other day when I was getting my nails done, but this one looks amazing. And this one is obviously my favorite. However, I do also have a soft spot for this one. Pistachio and cherry, delish. Hello everybody. This afternoon has really run away with me. I have been making TikToks. I actually got really anxious about the fact that it sounds really stupid, but I haven't posted anything on TikTok properly in quite a while that wasn't just like random little things so i was getting quite anxious about the fact that i hadn't really uploaded any content onto there so made that a priority this morning because i feel like it's just if i have something else to do and i'm meant to be vlogging but also need to to do something else i can't vlog properly and i can't give you guys my full attention until like that, that thing is off my mind so i just had to get that out of the way i hope it went okay you never know until you edit these things but um yeah i'm just snuggled up in this really cute and other storage jumper that I picked up a few weeks back. It's so nice, feel, like the quality feels really lovely um, and it's like a real classic and um, it's beautiful. It's got a really high like neck as well but I've just rolled it in um, because I get a bit worried about getting makeup from my chin on jumpers um, and I think it looks quite nice rolled in to be honest. And I'm in full editing mode. I have pinned the fringy bits back so that I can just crack on with editing this afternoon. I have to admit, I maybe I'm just having one of those days, but I am feeling slightly anxious um, at the prospect of like all of the content that kind of has to be created at this time of year and doing vlogmas as well. I am like kind of feeling the pressure a lot. Um, it's why I didn't chat much last night. I am kind of building that pressure up in my head a fair little bit. Like there's this weird point that I've reached where I don't really overthink what I'm saying as much anymore, but I'm more just like putting pressure on myself because I want the content to be really good for you guys, but there's only one of me and there's only so much I can do. Um, I, I'll tell you again, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I know there's a lot of people that didn't watch my previous life updates because I can tell by some of the comments I'm getting in addition to has Ryan moved in yet I also talked about the fact that Lauren doesn't work with me anymore yeah it's not a big deal it's just she wanted to travel more and with the kind of job role that she had um there wasn't as much flexibility for 
long periods of travel. It wasn't like a completely remote working setup or anything like that. And I obviously want her to be happy and do all of the things that she wants to do. So um, yeah, she now has a job that kind of is more in line with being able to travel for longer periods of time. But it does mean that I am on my own at the moment. There really is only so much that I can do and I do need to remind myself of that. Yeah, there is a lot on my plate right now and I've just added more to it with vlogmas which um that's why I think that's why I sat down at the beginning of this video and I think I might have cut it out I might have left it in but I was like I think I may be going insane that I've decided to do this and I really do mean that because um yeah there's a lot on right now and with the addition of TikTok which we haven't had in previous years and there's just so much there is just so much it's one of the reasons why um the podcast has had to go into series format rather than constantly being rolled out because it just got to the point in September where I was like this is only going to be sustainable for a small period of time um I can't carry on doing this weekly every week in week out kind of thing so yeah bear with me this month I'm going to do my best um but yeah that was why I was quite quiet last night because I was just really piling the pressure onto myself because I want this vlogmas to be so good for you guys I haven't done it in years I haven't felt mentally up to it in years and this is the first year that I felt kind of okay with being vulnerable but at the same time I'm now just putting pressure on myself because I want all of the content to be amazing for you guys and um we've just had a chill couple of days and I didn't feel like it was particularly like um groundbreaking or anything you haven't seen in previous years. I was just really piling the pressure onto myself, which actually is not great for your mental health, so I need to not do that. It's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be fine, and it's gonna be a really fun, lovely festive season, and we're gonna have a really lovely Christmas as well. Um, I'm super excited now because we are hosting. So yeah, I'm really excited to kind of plan all of the food and things like that, and the decor. So yeah, really looking forward to that. It's a lot. This time of year is a lot, isn't it? Does anyone else feel the same or is it just me? Probably just me. But anyway, I am going to go and edit this vlog now because otherwise it will never make it up. I really hope you guys have enjoyed Vlogmas episode one. It's been a chill couple of days. I promise things will get a little bit more exciting over the next kind of week or so. It just so happened to be that our schedule over the first couple of days of Vlogmas has been very, very chill, but we have some lovely fun things planned. So I'm really excited to bring you along with us. Uh, but yeah, I hope you are looking forward to it and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.